welcome to Planet Earth. We are growers of tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. And I'm Rob James, I'm the technical director here, and I look after quality, food safety, innovation, and also our sustainability. So we're really pleased to be able to show you around today and explain a little bit more about how we grow our cucumbers that you will find on the supermarket shelves. Welcome to one of our two cucumber greenhouses here on Thanet Earth. This is 6.1 hectares of cucumbers. We are able to produce UK cucumbers right from the last week in January all the way through to the end of November. Cucumbers are here, you can see them grown there, we call, we call hydroponically. They're grown out of the ground in an artificial substrate and that is to give it consistency. So soil is really complicated and really difficult to manage so we remove that complexity put them in an inert medium and then feed everything the plant needs as you would do any crop, all the fertilizers and nutrition it needs for it to do, do what it needs to do and that's produce great quality British cucumbers. We grow a method here, it's quite a tall greenhouse, a method called high wire cucumbers. So that means they are hanging down, they've got loads of room to hang and grow straight. So we get very, uh, very high levels of class one fruit, you know, over 99%. And it's all around giving the plant the best environment to do what it needs to do. So making the most of the light energy and allowing that plant to take all that light energy on, turn it into plant energy and then produce the climate to steer it between growing leaf to growing fruit. A cucumber is a bit of a, like a Formula One plant compared to the other crops we grow on site. It can produce a cucumber from flowering to harvest in 12 days. Currently with lower light levels is running around 17. The other thing that's quite unique to this greenhouse is we actually use some artificial lights and that's learnings we've taken from growing our tomatoes all year round with light. We now use supplementary lighting in here and that is to extend the season. We're seeing more issues around, more issues around availability and quality driven by climate change and that's one way by growing with lights we can improve that availability and make sure we can continue to supply cucumbers into our customers. Everything is done by hand so from planting, training the plant up the wire, trimming leaves off and then harvesting. And because they grow so fast, we will be harvesting six to seven days a week at peak. And with how we designed this site, we are able to capture all the rainfall that falls on the roofs. We can capture condensation from inside the greenhouse. So as it's hot inside and cold outside, we can collect that water and also any irrigation and fertiliser the plants don't use, we recycle and reuse. So nothing goes to waste, nothing goes into the ground. And with that, we're probably on a normal year, 70% self-sufficient in water. In terms of disease issues and pest issues, each greenhouse has, each crop has slightly different uh, pests that prefer it. So in cucumbers, it's thrips, followed by capsids and a lot of those can come in from outside. We get fungal disease, but again, if we give a plant a great environment, it, it, it's, it stays healthy longer. And then there's other issues around plant virus. That's, and it's, you can't see viruses, and they can be quite devastating when they come in. But hence, we have things like biosecurity coming into the, the greenhouse where we, we're washed, we have to put protective clothing on. Um, and we also don't move staff between the different greenhouses and different crops. So all in all, we're trying to make sure we protect that plant so it can do the best it can do and it, get it to the end of the season in good health. Key part of being a grower is also you're always looking for the best variety or the next improvement on what you currently do. And there's a huge market and a huge segment of the industry that's focused on developing those new opportunities for growers. So with cucumbers, it, it's, uh, we, all, we always look at quality, um, that consistency of size and shape, uh, good shelf life, so we don't, we don't want to be growing something that, goes, that wastes quickly and goes off quickly in the home. And then there's the agronomic benefits. Does the plant, is it strong and healthy? Can it, has it got any disease resistance? Uh, does it produce the sizes we want? Uh, what's its growth characteristic? Can it, What's it, how does it operate in lower light early season and how, how does it perform later on when there's a lot more light? So those are the things we always look at and we have multiple variety trials going in here to look at the, you know, what are the next thing that's coming forward that we should uh, move into. So growing this way, what does it mean in terms of numbers? Well, 
In, this green, in each greenhouse, we have 100,000 plants. Uh, between the two greenhouses, we put, produce a million cucumbers a week, and over a whole season, that's 30 million cucumbers. Our cucumbers are, are picked fresh every day, inloaded, quality checked, booked into our system, into our cold store. Our production team will work it basically normally on a first in, first out basis. They'll pull it out, it'll get destacked onto the line automatically by a depalletizer. Our grader will uh, sort it into different lanes on the machine based on size, weight, and length and our, our team will remove any defects that do not meet our customer requirements. It will then get shrink wrapped and labelled and placed into crates and our QC team will do a final release on all pallets that, that have been produced before it goes to our customer. We are a food business, we grow food and we work really, really hard to make sure we minimise food waste. First is we grow it at really high standards so we don't waste it in the greenhouse and then we manage it and control it through the process and make sure it, it gets to market in optimum condition and we work with people like Fair Share when we do have flushes that we try and make sure that the food we've grown doesn't go to waste and then goes to uh, a good purpose and then finally if product is not good enough or when we have crop waste everything goes we've, we've sort of developed a business with our local farmer and he takes everything we produce and he uses it, some of it for stock feed and the rest he composts and puts back on his land. So in terms of a life cycle of product, nothing goes to waste and no waste from this site ever goes to landfill. And then behind me, you'll see that we have these areas of focus where we've really encouraged the development of biodiversity. This was, when we built this 15 years ago, barren. So we planted a, few, uh, planted a few trees over time and the rest is established because we've get, given it a, 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 good, a good environment. So all, all in all, there's now more nature and biodiversity on this site than was when it was a commercial farm. So it's a great example of how we can produce it, uh, you know, food intensively, but sustainably, but link it to adding value back into the environment. So as well as the environment, we have a number of other pillars we look at as part of our uh, sustainability strategy. Uh, obviously as a, as a greenhouse grower, we're a big energy user. We use combined heat and power where we're actually acting as a power station where we buy gas to create electricity with which we export. But we also use all that heat from that generation process. Plus we recover all the CO2 and that's what we use to help grow the plants. So the heat for heat in the greenhouse and the CO2 to help support the amount of photosynthesis that needs to go on because we've got high plant density because there's not enough CO2 in the atmosphere. So all in all, we're using 85 to 90% of the embedded energy in gas, whereas a normal power station will be in the high 40s. Also, the scale at which we operate, I think last year we generated enough electricity to supply 36,000 homes, their whole electricity requirement for a year. So energy is one and we're all still looking to get better. We're still using gas at the moment, but we're looking at how we can improve. So for example, we've just installed 1.1 megawatt of solar power on the pack house roof um, and we've switched to things like biodiesel for our uh, site lorries and trailers um, and we've already re reduced our initial pa uh, pack house um, and trading business carbon footprint by 50% in the last three years. Well I hope you find that interesting and, and enjoyed it. I hope you now understand a little bit more that goes on behind the scenes producing those cucumbers that you eat and I hope you equally find the other uh, stories or pieces on what other growers do to get their food, grow their food on the Follow a Farmer website.